So I decided that I'd make a little Christmas bauble out of a piece of pine. Uh, here's one I made earlier. Made this one in two pieces. I uh, thought if I could do it in two, then I should be able to do it in one piece. So this end was uh, one stone, then I put a spigot and a mortise on the other end and joined the two together. I uh, thought, well, I'll see if I can make it in one. Got a piece of square, drilled a hole through uh, two faces all the way through to make the ball shape in the middle. Uh, mounted it between centers and turned it to round with a bowl gouge. I just used two bowl gouges, I think, to make it. Didn't get too complicated. Got to a round, uh, decided which end was going to be which. Put a spigot on one end and I mounted it in the chuck, uh, which I did there. Look, mounted it, got it going, decided whatever. Started rough shaping, uh, see where it was. I hadn't got a plan. I just thought I'd find out what the wood gave me when I got to it. Uh, carried on forming down. It's quite forgiving actually. I've got the tail stuck up just to give me some support. Turned quite nicely. I've made a few finials in the past, so I knew that it would be supported at the other end for some time, hopefully. Got to this point, I was going to turn it off. Decided to remove the tail stock. There's lots of support. Uh, turned it down, got rid of the end. I think I actually sawed it off, but I didn't bother showing that part. Just cut it off at the end. Yeah, there we go. Started to shape it off, uh, final shaping. Realised as I went along that uh, as I got further and further up the piece, um, I could refine it more and more. I'd sand it, I sanded it once or twice all the way through, to be fair. They all say with the finial, when you do that end, you can't go back to it, but there was a lot of a lot of support on it. So I did a little bit of sanding. I showed a little bit of sanding, but not too much. As I say, I, I, didn't, have a, I didn't have a plan. I wasn't going to put a spiky end. Uh, you know what Christmas is like. I didn't want anybody using it as a weapon. I thought it was pointy, so <laughs> somebody could end up getting stabbed with it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, give it a sanding. I went through all the grades. It's a bit of a waste of time, really, because I did go back to it and sand it again. Then went back, carry on refining the shape. So they're rounding the bottom of the ball off. I was aware there's not as much meat there, so there's got to be quite careful. See, so sanded it again, look. It's a bit of a waste of time. I realised that afterwards. I need, didn't need to sand it until I got to the other side of the ball, really. That, that would have been a safer option. Well, not a safer option, a sensible option. I would have wasted too much time to doing it. This actually took me about three quarters of an hour, and I've cracked it down to three and a half minutes, I think. Four and a half minutes. It'd be quite nice if... Uh, That'd be good if you could turn them on. If I was a production turner, I suppose if I turned them that quick, but you know, me, I'm not. Must have been a warm day that day, look, because I ain't got my hat on. So, yeah, I went up to the top end, started shaping that, uh, and I got a rough shape out of it. I gave it a sand in, and I got to that point and thought, well, you know, you, you can guess how the rest of it goes, so I didn't, I didn't, bother, uh, didn't bother recording the rest of it. So I just went straight through at the top, caused a flat on the top um, to put a little mountain eye in. Um, one or two of these I've actually burnt with a with a blowtorch, and because the uh, the softwood seems to burn faster than the hardwood, um, so it gives quite a nice effect, a bit like Zebrano. And uh, there we have it. So I just turned it off, and uh, that was the job. Quite enjoyed it. So I've made half a dozen now, and they're on the tree.